everyone. Um, I thought I'd show you today one of the pictorial resources that we use quite a lot in early years. Um, you'll know from our maths policy that we use the concrete pictorial and abstract approach to maths at Bookstory. Um, this is one of the pictorial examples that we use and it's a really nice way of representing those abstract principles to the children. And what I mean by that is, um, well I'll probably be easier if I show you. So I've got two 10 frames here and I'm just going to work from the top one first to, sh to show you what I mean. Um, so basically what we can do is we can work out number of ones to 10 in a really visual way for the children. So what I could do I could use counters or milk bottle tops, but just because I've got it up showing you, I'm going to use my pen. Um, and I'll pop a template for this on the website as well. So I've put three counters on my top 10 frame. And what I can see from this is the number three. So this is my abstract that I'm writing now, which is my classic number sentence. So I've got three, and then I could work out an addition problem. So I could do three add, and then what you can do is you can prompt your child to count how many are left, how many have not been covered. So I know that it's seven, okay, but they would count. What's really nice is as well, because the um, counters are always represented in the same way, um, i.e. they go across and then down from the left-hand side, they start to recognise patterns in the empty blocks. So I know that that's seven because it's five and two, because it's such a visual way of representing it for the children, they'll also start to understand that this space here is a seven. Um, and obviously they know, then they can work out that it's 10. Okay, so basically what you can do is you can play around with that until you've got all of your number ones to 10. You can also work out the inverse. So you could also have a discussion about, well, I know that three and seven makes 10. Um, you can also talk about the fact that you've got seven. And if I take took away three, um, oh, sorry, if I had 10 and I took away three, I'd have seven left as well. Um, so it's a really nice visual resource. What you can also do is you can start to talk about addition beyond 10 um, because you can have your 10 frame at the top totally covered in. And children will know that that's 10. And then you can also start to use this second 10 frame as well. So I might have two covered here. And I can talk to the children about the fact that 10 add 2 equals, they obviously count where the markers are, they'd know that that's 12. But it's also really nice for representing that that number 12 is a 10 and two ones as well. It's really visual, it shows the children what that number one represents. It's a 10, it's not a one. So that's really, really nice. You can also have a really good conversation with your child when you're learning those number ones to 10 about halves as well. If you're using just this one top 10 frame here and you've got your five in the top row, you can talk about the fact that there's two equal parts there. You've got your half that's covered with the counters or whatever resource you're using. You've got half that's covered and you've got half that's empty and they're two equal parts. So that's a really nice visual way of representing that half of 10 is five. Um, another activity you can do um, that's slightly more hands-on. I've got my dog Charlie, <laughs> instead of ignoring. You could draw a giant 10 frame with chalk on the floor outside as well. You can set your child the task of having 10 objects to find. Um, let's say for this example, we ask them to find 10 milk bottle tops. Um, you could say, right, there's 10 milk bottle tops in the garden. You need to come and find them, bring them back, put them on the 10 frame. Um, as they're going along, you can talk about how many more they need to find to make that 10. So let's say they found two of the milk bottle tops. When they bring them back and they put them on that 10 frame, you can say, brilliant, well done, you found two. How many more do I need to find all of the objects that we're looking for, all 10? And they can use this 10 frame as a prompt to figure out how many more they've got to find as well. Those are the examples I'm going to show you today, just because it's a little bit of an introduction. Um, I'm possibly going to put some more videos up 
talking about more things you can do with these 10 frames. But for now, I think that's kind of all you need to know. That's where the children are really, that's how we've used them. Um, I'm also going to be putting some more videos on the maths page explaining some more of the pictorial resources we use and some ideas of some concrete activities you could do with your child as well. Thank you very much, have a good day!